Hey guys, and today I wanted to do a quick review, and the review I'm doing uh, is on the, the 50 caliber Desert Eagle, uh, and this is just the standard review, uh, and let me just show you, it's empty, okay, Let's see, no bullets in that, okay, it's empty, um, the there's a big history on the Desert Eagles, and they make they make several of them. Uh, and no matter which de Desert Eagle you have, they're beautiful guns. Um, the Desert Eagles uh, started out with like the Mark Sevens, and they were made in Israel. Then they changed over to the United States. <clears throat> then they changed them back over to Israel again for the manufacture of them. And uh, like I say, they make a wide range of them in different colors and different types. Uh, if you wanted to get information on, you know, which ones are available, you can go over to Magnum Research's website. And Magnum Research uh, has a, the different models. Now, uh, I'm making this informative video for people because uh, there's a lot of questions about them. Um, they make, right now, all production has been moved into the United States. You see what it says there on this Desert Eagle? made in USA and on the other side it says Pillager Minnesota I don't know if you can see that could see it there okay and this is the 50 caliber okay um, they moved the production to the United States car arms owns Magnum research um, uh, they used to make like I say made in Israel uh, I think it was a I I M I and then I W I um, the older Desert Eagles uh, they had some Mark 7s and they did have some Mark 19s. This is the Mark 19 model. The 19 can be noted by the rail, the full rail on top. Uh, there is some Desert Eagles out that are Mark, Mark 19s that might have this. They might have put a barrel, but uh, you'll know if it's U.S. by, it'll say it on the barrel, uh, on the frame. Also, as you note it on these, how smooth out this is, all the, uh, the hammer, all these parts here are very smooth. All the edges are gone. It's very smooth out gun. Um, I like that better. It's easier to... Um, I did some modification here, as you'll notice. That's why this is easy to uh, put the safety on. You, you can't do that on the newer Desert Eagles or the older ones. You have to use two hands like this. It's a pain to do that. And when I'm shooting, I like to just be able to go, you know, just drop it down, drop it out. Like that easy. I did modification on that. But uh, right now, all of them are, like I say, U.S. Now, they made a few different uh, patterns on them. This pattern, if you look, is the old type pattern. They never made a U.S. model with this old pattern. And as you notice, the muzzle brake matches and everything on this, the sights, you won't find one like this. You won't be able to buy this from Desert Eagle. Uh, Magnum Research, you won't be able to find it on the Internet. You will not find a gun like this, period. You'll have to get it built. Now, uh, they make a black oxide, which is all black, and I have some videos on them. Uh, and then they, uh, the, they make the uh, brushed chrome and brushed nickel. Polished chrome, polished nickel. They make a 24 karat uh, gold plated, which looks like this. It's just got a layer of thin gold on it. Gold is very light and very uh, not very durable, so it will rub off. So if you shoot the gun a lot, handle it a lot, you will get wear marks. And there's a few people on the internet with some gold ones that are showing the chrome below it. Because I think uh, they basically have to chrome plate it and polish it and then they coat it with uh, gold to get the shine. Uh, with these here, they polish the metal and then they coat it. And then they blast in between here to get the stripes. So there's just a little different technology, a little bit more durable on this model here. Okay, then they make their uh, titanium, which is this color. It, you've probably seen some of my videos. A solid titanium. And then they make a, a titanium tiger stripe. And then they make uh, some finishes that look like a, uh, oh, like a uh, non-shiny nickel. But those are a titanium, like, uh, uh, not a nitride, but a, another titanium type of coating. And then they put some gold accents on them. It's just a little bit different. Um, you know, try to make it look a little cooler. Uh, they do make those, and those are custom finishes. A little bit, they're probably more durable than um, the gold and the black, 
uh, more oh, it's a titanium finish that they do make on it. Now uh, there's a few accessories you can get for the Desert Eagles and really they make some different sights okay these are not these are the standard iron sights that uh, actually I had plated uh, and polished out in titanium but they make a I think a three dot system that you can buy I just opted just to make it the same color as the gun uh, you can get a muzzle brake and it is installed by they tap and drill three holes in the barrel then it gets put on there and then the muzzle brake will actually add about an inch onto your gun so it's a six inch barrel it'll bring it up to like a, a seven inch barrel um, you can get different uh, they make some various different type of grips this particular grip here is the wooden ones um, but they make uh, rubber they make some stainless uh, they make like a aluminum coated with black they don't make a lot of grips for these and if you do find grips they're going to be pretty expensive you're better off getting a you know um, maybe a wooden type of grip or something or rubber it just depends on what you like but I got the wooden ones because uh, I was able to find them very hard to find these grips uh, if you look around you're not going to find them and uh, another thing I wanted to show you uh, on the older Desert Eagles and I will put in here a little um, here take a look at this I'll show you here's a comparison between, uh, between the old and the new Desert Eagle Tiger Stripe take a look at this uh, picture Okay, that was a picture of the comparison between the two frames on the Desert Eagles, how they look. The stripes are a little different. On the older Desert Eagle, the stripe will look like this. On the newer one, it's too wispy. I really don't care for it, but that's the only way you'll be able to buy it. Now, if you want to get a muzzle brake on it, it's no problem. Uh, you actually just take your barrel, and uh, the takedown of these guns is relatively simple. And let me show you here. Uh, all you do, there's a little button here. See this? And on the back, you can see how that pushes up while well, you would hold it here push it down okay you know you're supposed to cock the hammer a little like that okay and then your barrel will come right off okay and then you would take the barrel and you'd send the barrel in just this way here of course it wouldn't have a muzzle brake on and you'd send that into magnum research you can call the company they have various prices uh, usually uh, for the black muzzle brake is $199 if you want to get anything other than black and the only other ones they offer is the chrome and the nickel and maybe the 24 karat gold I don't even know if they offer that uh, they do offer a titanium but they do not offer the titanium tiger now they might even stop offering the titanium now because uh, what, what is happening a lot of people would get it and the, it wasn't matching okay. I had to take the whole gun and get it plated at a company custom and then they plated the whole gun for me and that's why this thing everything matches on it okay that's why I say it's really one of a kind um, I don't think you'd ever find one that matches this good there with this kind of pattern you're just not gonna find one um, you know I could build you one but you're not gonna find a gun like this with this kind of pattern they don't exist you're not gonna find it you could look as much as you want it. but anyway I wanted to show you that and um, so then you would just send it out they they would you know bring it back you know send it back to you and um, you have your muzzle brake on it but like I say about the muzzle brakes you, you got to realize here on the muzzle brakes um, you got to realize on the muzzle brakes on these guns plating they're not gonna a lot of them may not match now uh, another thing you'll notice in the stripe pattern on this the stripes are everywhere they go along that they go along the hammer they're on the trigger they're even on the uh, takedown lever. Uh, they are not like that on the newer guns. You're not going to find that. Uh, they have changed over. The quality is going to be a little bit better, but the quality that uh, they are not using this kind of pattern. But look really close on that. You will not find that pattern on a new gun. You're just not. Uh, I'll bet you a thousand bucks you won't find that. You just won't. You'd have to get the gun plated that way. And nobody basically will plate it that way because this is the older type uh, Desert Eagle pattern. Uh, now let's get back uh, over here and let's talk about some ammunition. You can use various ammunition. This ammunition uh, are reloads from Lodex. And I don't mind using Lodex. I used it before. These are actually 335 grain. I highly recommend the company. It's a great company. 
Uh, I sent all my brass out to get uh, to get it loaded. I have uh, you know other like 350 grain Magnum uh, research and spear and gold dots and other bullets and some Hornady and some double tap even and that you know that's fine and dandy for the um, you can use that too but uh, I just bought you know this for target and it works just as good so my uh, hunting loads I'm gonna keep just for that tar you know for self-defense or hunting but I'm gonna show you that that's a that's a regular plated bullet nothing special it's 333 30, 335 grains also so it's probably gonna be a pretty good bullet as far as when we're shooting it um, now also on the new Desert Eagles or even on the you do not get your magazines plated like this they will not do this um, this is titanium plated and actually you know uh, the titanium plating on this helps the gun it really does because this actually I've noticed makes it smoother and um, you know it's just very really really great it's, it's very smooth and also I noticed putting it in and out it does not even scratch look at that no scratches on it or anything so I'm gonna probably get a few more of these done I've got two new black ones which I'll probably go out and uh, maybe get them both plated so I have a few extra magazines for the gun but uh, yeah it, it turned out really good now I'm very happy with it but um, also another thing when you get the Desert Eagles they do not have plated screws like this and I had to get those done too so uh, also my modification I'll show you again here what I did on uh, uh, I have, you know, I have it uh, on my channel, but as you can see in here, you have no scratches. See how much I'm going? And I'll go that side. I can do this all day. You do not have one scratch. Like, you probably have a scratch for your Desert Eagle right here from going up and down. I'll guarantee you have a scratch there. They all do. But what I did is I actually took out there's a little piece in there um, and I took it out and cut it down and I moved the holes down over here so you could see ever so small see that hole and see that hole so now that's where the detent is so when I put that up it pops in there when I put it down it pops in there so it doesn't go in there and of course I have a red dot for my safety there and I did that on both sides and you can see there's no nothing there's a little dent there I did and the one up there. Now I could even put it further where it hit, but it, you know, hit it behind there more. But I really couldn't do it and get that that snapping in there. It, would, it just wouldn't snap good enough because uh, I it, I had to have it a little bit up high. But that works really good. And now look how easy that is to do it. You're not going to do that with your Desert Eagle, I'll guarantee, you, unless you got Hercules thumbs. You try it. You try doing that. You try. It popping it down popping it up like you're not going to do it ain't going to happen so uh, I did a lot of modifications for it but I wanted to show you especially for somebody that's into desert eagles what you can really do some changes you can make um, I would love to get another desert eagle and I got a project that I'd like to do on it but uh, right now I don't think I can afford it so uh, maybe if I sell one of my other guns I'm going to work on another project and uh, you know maybe get another gun done so if I can get rid of this other gun I got, uh, I think I'm going to move into another Desert Eagle. So I'm just waiting to see if I can sell it. Um, but I wanted to show you that, and that is the Desert Eagle 50AE. And that is um, pretty much customized. You know, it's, there's a lot of work that's been done on that. Uh, the muzzle brake, which is nice because it will keep your gun uh, very little muzzle flip. Very but little muscle flip. Now I don't fire it a lot, granted, but uh, you know I might take it out, fire 20 bullets, and that's it. I don't, I don't fire any of my guns a lot. But uh, I figure this is. I'd rather have another one of these than have some of the other ones I got that I never fire. So thanks a lot for looking at the video. Um, I appreciate your time, and hopefully this was educational, and you guys got a kick out of this. Just seeing this, you know, this Desert Eagle, and at the end of it, you know, I'll. I'll throw in there some, uh, try to put some pictures in there. Okay, so thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for watching the video.